rich women. So I'll start off obviously saying my mum first. Um, she's a really, really inspirational woman. She works as a um, GP. She's had four kids. Um, she's always just managed to keep cool and calm. I can imagine we drive her insane. So massive inspiration would be my mum for sure. Um, another lady who really inspires me, who I've always thought of um, been really inspired by was Lindsay Vaughn. So she's the um, USA ski champion. Um, she's actually, she's just a really, really cool um, person and someone who I just look up to. I followed her on Instagram since I was really, really young. Um, and she just sort of like um, always puts her sport first, is really professional. Um, she does a lot about like sort of body positivity and that side of things. Um, and yeah, just a real, real um, strong, brave athlete. I think she broke her leg on a downhill um, race one time. And then like, a, I don't know, a few weeks after she was back on the slopes, like still bombing down. So I just think that bravery um, isn't, isn't something you come by that often. Um, another lady who really, really inspires me is Kelly Holmes. Um, I only actually came across her story over the last few years, but um, she went through a lot and a lot of hardship and really, really dealt with it internally and didn't really actually express it too much. Um, she didn't voice what she was going through. And then obviously a year down the line, she looked back and thought, oh my goodness, I can't believe I went through that. Um, and she was doing a huge um, competition and she was going through a lot of mental health problems at the time, um, really sort of battling with injuries and and that side of it and there wasn't actually that much mental support there so I just think her level of resilience to get through that was really 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 inspiring um and also I think she was part of the army as well she personally trained the army and um I love the fact that she I think what she used to do was she was she used to say to the young male army recruits if you can beat me in a race then um obviously like you so if you can beat me in a race, you can't, you don't have to come in in the morning. But if I beat you, you have to be in at 5 a.m. every morning. And obviously not knowing that she was an Olympian, they were like, yeah, sure, let's go for it. And she'd obviously beat them all and smash it. So they all had to be in the gym at 5 a.m. And I just love that sort of dominance from her as well. So, um, yeah, I'd say those three women are probably my biggest inspirations. Um, yeah, hugely important. I mean, um, I think looking up to even the Super League netball girls from when I was younger was a massive inspiration for me because actually sort of it shows you that there is that opportunity to have a career within sport um, and sort of following people's footsteps um, it's hugely important and um, to sort of inspire younger people and the next generation of girls will just sort of um, keep that um, trend going of, of female sports and sort of boosting the younger athletes yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm alive. Say ooh la la um, I mean, I, I, I look up to so many players, um, even within my own team every day, I kept up to training and I'm inspired by my teammates. Um, just in general, um, probably, obviously there's some Aussie league players, they're like, um, and some New Zealand players like Laura Langman. I really, really look up to her. I think she's just an incredible athlete and I, I really, really am inspired by athleticism because I find it really impressive that years of hard work and training that have gone into creating a physique or creating athletes like that I find that very very inspiring um but yeah I mean there's loads of players in the English Super League even like Beth Cogden and and some girls I've always looked up to from when I was really really young um I'm just always have always been inspired by other girls putting in hard work and sort of pushing each other and competing and just making each other better I'm just inspired by that level of competition in general really what most makes me challenge it? So, I mean, I think one thing that I had to learn, because I'm, I'm a competitive person and I always have been, because I've got two sisters um, who also play netball. So just from a young age, I've been quite competitive. But I think what sort of inspires me is, is the, what I had to learn this anyway, is to compete with yourself. So obviously you've got that level of, Um, but I think trying to get small gains and like compete against yourself is something that I really, really had to work on and, and understand better. So I think waking up and sort of going out, say you've got quite a lot of mental attrition every day. It's sort of you wake up, you have to train, you wake up, you have to train. And I think what keeps me going is making small gains, either whether that's on court, off court, in the gym, um, and just in, in general, like how I approach things. I find it quite, um, 
I, I, yeah, I find it quite motivational by just improving each time I go. Um, so whether that's I can lift one kilogram heavier in the gym or whether that's I've come up something, come get up against something that I would normally shy away from and I've like gone for, gone for it and done something that scares me. That's sort of quite motivational as well because I'm like next time I'll be at, uh, performing at a higher level. Um, and yeah, I think you also, I think Maddie Brown actually said this, you learn more about yourself the harder you push. So in a fitness test, for example, if you go to that absolute max um, death zone, I like to call it, or like you go to hell, that's when you learn the most about yourself. And that's when you sort of realize, right, next time, that's I know that's the level I can go to. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say making the small gains um, and competing against yourself is probably the biggest motivator um, that I have. And then obviously there's the added competition of everyone around you, but you're always in a, a race with yourself in general. So um, that's probably what picks me up every day. The biggest challenge of my career, um, I had, had quite a niggling knee injury um, in my third year of university um, and trying to balance that with studies. Um, I'd studied geography at uni and had my final dissertation due and all that kind of thing. Um, so that's like sort of balancing life commitments and netball along with having a bit of a niggling injury was quite a challenge. Um, I found that mentally quite hard, quite difficult. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you have to go through those tough um, spouts of adversity to sort of get through the other end and gain perspective on things. Um, from that, I took a year out and did something completely different and it gave me a huge level of perspective. Um, and yeah, just sort of, you have to go through hard times to make the journey worth it and also to get to the other side and sort of see things from a new light and a new, completely new perspective. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say that third year was quite tough. Um, and yeah, just gen generally like things that happen outside of netball can really, really impact your journey inside. So um, yeah, I think just staying on top of your mental health, that would that would probably be my, one of my biggest challenges. Yeah, so I mean, there is opportunity, obviously, further down the line, if you get to a certain level, you can take that ball um, further and that is an opportunity to make a huge career out of it, which is incredible and obviously an aspiration. But between now and then, obviously, I've, I've been working, um, I actually work at Graft House, a gym in Leeds, um, which is like, it's really, really great to be around other people that sort of like minded. So we've got lots of athletes, lots of crossfitters, a few bodybuilders. That was really interesting, just getting their perspective on training as well. Uh, I found that majority of people are just a little bit crazy, but that's that's what we like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, to, it, is, it is tough to balance it, but I think um, I'm very much um, an active person. So I, I think I'd find it harder trying to balance a job where I have to sit down. I'd always be like up and like jittering about because I'm just sort of I'm quite active. So I think finding something that works and can facilitate your netball is really, really good. So. Um, I found the perfect balance, which is working at the gym, um, which gives me that good like social interaction. I'm also like doing something um, and I'm up on my feet all the time, which really helps with sort of like just general recovery, actually, because if you sit down, your muscles tighten up and things like that. So, um, yeah, finding something that helps you balance that um, and also what you like, because I know some people like sitting down and, and working and um and that side of it, but I, I personally just need to be up and about. So that's how I balance it. Assumptions. I mean, there's there's a lot, there are a lot of like sort of stereotypes out there and like how like sporty girls, um, I don't know that, that there's, just, there's there are quite a few stereotypes out there, but, and there, there's the, the odd, odd thing that you say, oh, you look manly and all that kind of thing. But I think just like, I don't know if you just look beyond that and and sort of rise above it then there's so much out there and then also the inspiring role models that are within the sport just disprove every stereotype and every single athlete's different um so I think I personally haven't experienced crazy amounts of it but I know that there's athletes out there that have experienced it um and also they're sort of the trailblazers that sort of rewrite the rules um and they're incredible women out there that um disprove every single stereotype there is so um yeah I think the um, those sort of things you have to rise above and just do what you love, which is if that's sport, play sport and um, be inspired by people around you. Yeah, massively. I mean, it, it's incredible, particularly this year. There's been so many um, people messaging me who I would never expect to be watching that ball, who are watching that ball and really getting into it. 
um even sort of my closest friends are always like, oh you wave at me when you're on tv and things like that so I, I think there's there's it, it's great for women's sport and um the the younger girls who, who are sort of looking up to it as well can sort of see that this is a career and this is something that they can do and, and there's an op opportunity to take their netball to another level as well so it's great for english netball um and just the grassroots as well mm, definitely yeah i mean um having pundits that are female is always incredible um and especially their level of technical knowledge is is really like outstanding i always, I always watch it and i'm like wow it, it is quite inspiring um but yeah, there's um, loads of like really, really impressive female athletes that have also made a career post um, their actual playing career with sort of commentary and things like that. So that's all also really cool to know that like not only is there a career within sport, there's also a career post playing as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's great for the younger ones as well. International Women's Day to me means just celebrating the incredible women's stories out there that aren't even spoken about. Just last week, um, it's quite funny, I had a um, lady who came to fit in my Virgin Media um, Wi-Fi and I got chatting to her and she, it turns out she used to play for Leeds United um, football and she was telling me about these stories of these incredible women who um, used to have to work full time, had three kids, would have a football season, then had the summer off, had a child back for pre-season in the summer and I think just stories like that are just absolutely inspirational and um, the more um, airtime they get, the better. So to me, that's what in, um, International Wednesday means to me, probably.